short tutorial on extracting data from a website and placing it into an Excel spreadsheet. If you extract or scrape data from the internet on a regular basis, you can easily automate the entire process. We're going to run through an example of how to use our web browser action to open an internet website, extract a table, place the data from the table into a data set, then import the entire table into an Excel spreadsheet. First, in the Automate 9 Task Builder, navigate to the network area and select the web browser action and drag and drop it into the main step area. We will use the Open Activity to perform to simply enter the URL pointing to the web page containing the table that we will extract in this example. In our case, it's the Network Automation website. Under our User Resource Center is a sample task page that contains a table. Now I'm going to simply select OK and navigate to Run in the menu and run the first action in our task. Here, under the recent sample task and workflow area is a table containing tasks, the date the tasks were added, the comments, and the ratings. We're going to grab everything from task all the way down to the five stars in the table. Now we're going to go back to our task builder and drag and drop our web browser action into the task builder main step area again. And this time we're going to select the extract table activity to perform. With the extract table activity, there are a few things that you need to do. First, we need to select the browser by selecting the magnifying glass and dragging it out to the website that we want to select. Notice a green border has been placed around the browser indicating selection. Next, we need to locate the HTML element by dragging the handout to the table that we want to extract. And notice in this case there is a blue border surrounding the table indicating selection as well. Next, we're going to go into the interaction area and enter the create and populate data set. And in this option, we're just going to give our data set a name and we'll call it DS underscore sample task. And again, select OK. Now, we're going to navigate to our Excel actions and select a create workbook action. And here, we're just going to simply enter the path and the workbook name that we want to create. And this time, we'll call it sample task one more time and give it an XLSX SX extension indicating that it is a spreadsheet. We'll also select the override if workbook already exists option and select OK to save our third step in the task. The last thing we're going to do for the task is add a data set to sales action. Now notice I have a drop down which populates the data set that I created in step two when I extracted the table. Here, under the upper left cell by position area, I can specify the row and column to enter or import the data set into, and we'll go with the default of row one and column one. And I'm going to, again, select OK. Now, when I run the task, Notice Automate will open the website, extract the table, and import the information into the table row by row, column by column.